I'm sending you guys an invite. Fiery storm? In your Me? Vastness yeah. that is the Im Wait, fiery storm? Fiery storm. Self at home. Because you are Yo, guys. Home. not invite some friends over. Have a party. The go bananas. And when you want to leave the menu button. Marvelous adventure. Well, how marvelous you found your way to the pod computer. The entire Imagosphere is now but a flick of the left stick and a tap of the action button away. Why not stretch your legs by picking the play option? Another shining beacon of wonder planetary wonderment. And you can visit Bunkum anytime you like simply by selecting a badge using the left stick and pressing the action button. <laughs> it's almost too simple. Some dumb guy. Yeah, that's a monster later on. He's the bad guy, he tricks you. I won't want to know how to play PlayStation Plus. It said bad ninja left. I clicked on her name, it says view profile or mute, mute chat audio. Yeah. Every time I go in, it says I need a... Fix my settings. How do you go to settings? Okay. So you're now free from the confines of your pod computer. Have a good old nosy around and get the vibe of the place. You might want to invite some chumblies over. Now, should you wish to reacquaint yourself with your pod computer, I have it on the highest of authorities that standing before it and pressing the menu button is something you need to do first.
my moon or my moon. This is your profile. Oh wait, I'm gonna walk through your name. Around the earth. Going around the going around the earth. Oh, I see this picture. Have you you're willing to share. You can show off your favorite pins, change your avatar, and even see all the warm and lovely things little big planitians have to say about you. Be sure to give your profile the attention it deserves. It's quite cathartic, actually. Like Yeah, how do you change your settings? Win challenge. No 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 is the game still like is there an option for it to be like another uh -huh. side scrolling game? You're back and precisely on time. We've just made the finishing touches, and your arrival signifies the grand unveiling of of oh, well mind. everything. Don't be shy, one. toddle up to the pod computer and tap on the menu button to see just what's on offer. Settings. Hold on to your socks. We weren't fibbing when we said we were going to blow them right off. Okay. I'm on air. You're being reported. When you I'm visit Little recorded. Big Planet, you become your true and okay, pure yeah, self. We don't care. A cuddly, excitable adventurer care, called a sack person. I don't care about you, I And this face. is you. What a cracker! How long till the. Use the left stick to move your sack person. A little tippy tappy for a shuffle and a somewhat more substantial push for a bound. Take a run and jump, why don't you? You do it by pressing the action button. A quick tap for hippity hop and a long. Transporting oneself from the earthly plateau to the realm of little big planet. Transporting oneself from the earthly plateau to the realm of little big planet ahead, is akin to being born again. I want, I want, I want to hear you. Have you noticed that sack personages, as they gird about the Imagosphere, all wear a poker oh. face because they're concentrating on the task in hand? Well, it doesn't have Allergy to be like that all the time. You can. you can change. Now, I know you're eager to get stuck into all this, but please remember the ethos of the Imagosphere. Create and share and above all... Yes, 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 yes. Thanks for that, old man. I'll take it from here. Oh, what luck. There's my little chum-to-be ready to come and help me sort out Bunkum. Just a simple press of this button, and our adventure will begin. Ah, ah no. So, one on the left. No, but if, if I'm facing it, then that would be. Look. Oh. That's the one!
game chat. Take it off the mic. Xbox Live. Crumbs! It worked! You're here! Sorry for the rough ride, old chap. My name's Newton. Welcome to Bunkum Chummy Chum Chum, where the sky is strewn with circling clouds of imagination, all ceaselessly pumped into Bunkum's atmosphere by the pounding creative heart at its core. How magnificent our hands. Let me explain. Long ago, before the Negativitron nearly laid waste a craft world, three gluttonous gargoyles gorged on Buncombe's bountiful creativity. Inspiration dried up. We teetered on the brink of the abyss. And then, three heroes came. With their speed, with their power, with their grace, they finally managed to capture the Titans. With Buncom restored to the creative paradise you see around you, the heroes retired to the pages of myth. A myth that also foretells of the return of the Titans. Tonight, just before bedtime, all of Buncombe's nightmares become real. And that's where I, I mean, we, come in. Join me, my noble assistant. Buncombe's very future depends on we two brave heroes. What should I name him? Ma. What should I name him? What should I name <laughs> Let's get down off this mountain. I've got a prezi for you. Oh, how I love the mountain air. It's just so... airy. Press up and down on the left stick to move in and out of the screen. Hold down on the left stick and press the action button to jump down a step. If you jump in front of a step, you'll automatically shift backwards onto it. stuck in a hat. I did? Well, it's a true story and still relevant today, as the danger of getting stuck in Little Big Planet is as real as it ever was. If you find yourself in an impassable crevice or an insurmountable rut, your poppet holds the key to your salvation. Open it with your menu button and highlight the retry option using your left stick. Then simply hold the action button until your little stitched chum pops himself senseless. Don't worry, he'll be back in a jiffy, spat out of that last checkpoint you ran past. Good as new. Did I ever tell you about the time I got stuck in a hat? I did? Well, it's a true story and still relevant today, as the danger of getting stuck in Little Big Planet is as real as it ever was. If you find yourself in an impassable crevice or an insurmountable rut, your poppet holds the key to your salvation. Open it with your menu button and the retry option using your left stick. 
Then simply hold the action button until your little stitched chum pops himself senseless. Don't worry, he'll be back in a jiffy. Spat out of that last checkpoint you ran past. Good as new. Did I ever tell you about the time I got stuck in a hat? I did? Well, it's a true story and still relevant today, as the danger of getting stuck in Little Big Planet is as real as it ever was. If you find yourself in an impassable crevice or an insurmountable rut, your poppet holds the key to your salvation. Open it with your menu button and highlight the retry option using your left stick. Then simply hold the action button until your little stitched chum pops himself senseless. Don't worry, he'll be back in a jiffy. Spat out of that last checkpoint you ran past. Good as new. Did I ever tell you about the time I got stuck in a hat? I did? Well, it's a true story and still relevant today, as the danger of getting stuck in Little Big Planet is as real as it ever was. If you find yourself in an impassable crevice or an insurmountable rut, your poppet holds the key to your salvation. Open it with your menu button and highlight the retry option using your left stick. Then simply hold the action button until your little stitched chum pops himself senseless. Don't worry, he'll be back in a jiffy. Spat out of that last checkpoint you ran past. Good as new. Did I ever tell you about the time I got stuck in a hat? I did? Well, it's a true story and still relevant today, as the danger of getting stuck in Little Big Planet is as real as it ever was. If you find yourself in an impassable crevice or an insurmountable rut, your poppet holds the key to your salvation. Open it with your menu button and highlight the retry option using your left stick. Then simply hold the action button until your little stitched chum pops himself senseless. Don't worry, he'll be back in a jiffy. Spat out of that last checkpoint you ran past. Good as... Layer launchers spring you from front to back and back to front. Give it a shot. That's it. Bounce in and out like a, like a, um, uh, uh, bouncing in and out thing. Excellent work. Your bounding knows no bounds. Use the action button to trigger blue layer launchers. Use the grab button to climb along a climbable surface. You can still jump while you're climbing. Just press the action button. Wonderful work. I knew you could do it. Right. Good work. Let's go.
the grab button to take hold of spongy bits and the left stick to drag them about. button while dragging or pushing to give yourself a little oomph. How fast did you finish that Thing and use the left stick to swing across. Jolly useful, eh? Retire to my airship to prepare for your, uh, I mean, our death defying mission. Isn't the white bulb head the bad guy, Newton? Yeah, like later on he turns on you where he tricked you or whatever. Or was it the man? So cool, that's so cool, man. <laughs> I don't want to see it. The guy in the middle? Do you have the game called... Welcome to my airborne laboratory. My father made it, of course, Hi. but I made some refinements of my own. I don't have it on the Xbox. I don't have it on... I don't have it on this. I had it on the Xbox. Look at us. Co-conspirators primed for our first top secret mission briefing. Here, take this sticker. That is our first target. A loathsome locale called Stitcher Manor. Stick it up on the mission board. In the real world, slapping stickers on anything and everything is frowned upon. Rightly so. Have you ever tried peeling a sticker off a cat? Susan was not amused. However, in the world of Little Big Planet, we like to do things differently. Yes, that means you're free to sticker whatever you want, even your bestest of chums or most fearsome of foes. Simply bring up ye pop it with the menu button and select stickers and decorations using the left stick and the action button. How many hours to When you pick then? a sticker, you'll see it's now at the end of your pocket cursor. Move it around with the left stick. You can yeah. resize and even give it a bit of a spin using the right stick. 
Once you're happy, a quick press of the action button stamps your sticker down. Or, if you're feeling adventurous, you can use the nifty touchpad feature to move your sticker, placing it with a quick click. Marvelous. As always, close the poppet with a press of the back button, and away you go. It's average. How much new point? Oh, so bad. Wait, come on. Has your sister ever played for me? Within those walls lurks a cranky old bag named Nana Pud. Oh, put her face up there if you can stomach it. and make our way up onto the roof. One last sticker. Place it down there, if you would. That is our true goal, the tin that houses the evil titans. We must reach it before Nana Pud releases them, the old bag. Fortunately, I've handcrafted something for just this occasion. Going down. Imagination made mechanical. Handheld oh, uh, inspiration. I finished Sucks. the game. It blows. It is the pumpinator. And there's like this uh, mother boss who choose. This was working uh, yesterday. Either not believe her or join her. What? Now, the, just what, pick it up and I can show you how useful it is. Nah, boy. You can't have too ghost. many pockets. This is such an amazing why. device. Oh, if only Daddy were here to witness it. You can aim it in different directions using the right stick. Point it at that Put pinwheel and press the R1 button to blow it into motion. Try giving those boxes a blow. The pumpinator is very marvelous, uh, isn't it? It won't work. Oh, that platform is 
broken. Press the L1 button to suck it into place. Dude, what do you want to play? Isn't like Dead by Day like, like $50 or 29 How much money is Dead by Daylight? Oh my god, that's so cool, man. You're not even answering me. Wait, what? Dead by Daylight? Dead by Daylight or The Dying Light? What? Dead by Daylight or The Dying Light? Dead by oh, Dead by Daylight. My favorite one is the pig from Saw. Her? Maybe Freddy Krueger. Yeah, Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. Maybe Web for Faith. Mm. Can I get a free trial for it? No. Why? Let's try to say no. Say no all you want. I don't play what. <gasps> what happened, Mom? Ma! What? what did you do? What? What did you do? I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything at all, I promise. What's you doing, boy? Black Ops 4. Free trial. Yo, I'll get the Black Ops 4 free trial. Or I will do something. I'm watching, Ma. And take your headset off. Spend some time with me. You don't spend any time with me at all.
Yep, they got it. You are so done tomorrow. Ask for nothing. Oh, thermite, yeah. Thermite, smoke. Uh, rook. Smoke. Thermite. Ash. Mute. Sledge. Rook. Thermite. Sledge. Mute. Thermite. I'm totally buying it. Yo, uh, do you have, uh, do you have Tom? I have a question, dude. Do you have, uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege? Do you have Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege? No. Well, it's, uh, $49. Eighty, you could get the gold edition, which is eighty nine, forty nine for the just original edition. For the advanced edition, it's fifty nine. Which one would you get? Oh, hi. Please. Please don't get off, please, please, please. One play Fortnite. 